a common exam question is uh, to be asked to describe an experiment to investigate how extension varies with the force that you apply to uh, something like a rubber band or perhaps a helical spring. When you describe an experiment it's a great idea to draw yourself a, a labeled diagram, just a simple labeled diagram that will tell a thousand words itself. The method you use should describe the variable you're going to measure and how you would measure it and which variable you're going to change. Also in the method sometimes it's a good idea um, to explain what variables you're going to keep the same to keep it a fair test. So uh, then we'll go on to consider the accuracy and graph that we're going to plot. So let's jump in and start off with a labeled diagram of how we're going to investigate the stretch of a, a rubber band. So I'm going to hang the rubber band from a retort stand clamp. So here's my rubber band and let's just label this up as retort stand. I won't draw the whole stand, just the, the cross arm. And here we have the rubber band. Rubber band. And we need to hang weights off the rubber band. So we'll use a weights holder like that, little hook, and then we can place weights on one at a time like that. It's a good idea to, underneath the weight holder, to put a little bit of plasticine with a pointer. And we'll then clamp a, a ruler, slightly tilting ruler, alongside that pointer. So let's label that up pointer. And here we have a, a millimeter ruler clamped vertically. It's important that we clamped that we clamp sorry the uh, millimeter ruler otherwise it can move around and our readings will get messed up. So we need to clamp that in the to the retort stand. Okay, there's our simple diagram. Let's do the method. So, number one, what we need to do to start with is measure the initial pointer reading. So, measure the initial pointer reading. Pointer reading. Just fit that in there, hopefully. Yeah, cool. Number two, once we've done that, we need to put some weights on. That's what we're going to change, the force, the load. So hang a one Newton weight. That's a fair weight to hang off the uh, on this weight holder. And that's on Earth, 100 grams mass has a, a force, a weight of one Newton. So we'd use 100 gram mass for that. So hang a one Newton weight on the rubber band. Rubber band. Okay, number three, and we need to measure the new extension. Or rather, we need to measure the extension. The extension. How do we do that? Well, we take the new reading, and once it's been, once we put the load on, New reading minus the original reading. New reading, subtract the original or the initial reading. So we've explained how we measure extension and that is going to be our dependent variable. Number four, we need to add another add another one Newton weight and measure the extension. Measure the extension and finally number five is just squeeze that in there. We'll continue up to five Newtons repeat up to five Newtons load, which will give us about five points 
and that's fair enough. That's a, a good number to have of results. How would we improve the accuracy? Well, we would take all the weights off and we would repeat the experiment and take an average, an average of the extension results extension results that's a standard question that comes up and finally what graph will we plot well on the vertical axis that's the thing that you're measuring and what are we measuring here we're measuring the extension so we would put the extension on this axis extension and it's always good to include a unit so we would put that in millimeters and on the horizontal axis that's the variable that we're changing so what are we changing we're changing the load so we'd put the load and we're measuring that in newtons and you'd probably find that for a rubber band it would look something like like that a little curve kind of just doing that right so there we are a method a diagram labeled we would improve accuracy by repeating it and taking an average of the results and plot the dependent variable on the vertical axis and the independent variable, the one that you're changing, on the x-axis.